Okay, so the first place we're going to is Chinatown, which you can see straight away by the huge arc, all the Chinese symbols on it. If you look into the street, you can just see all the red lampshades, which is stinky Chinese. And if we take a walk inside, you'll see all the Chinese shops and grocery shops, restaurants, and if you want to do your Chinese shopping or try out Chinese cuisine, this is the first place you should come to. So let's take a look. As you can see already by the people, a lot of Eastern influence, Chinese people, there's Turkish people, a lot of people come from the Eastern side of the world. So as you can see, it's very much like being in China. Okay, so we're by the city centre now. Now it's full of life. It's almost Christmas time, so we can get all the children around. And it's a really nice time of the year. You can see all the decorations going on. And it's just a really vibrant atmosphere. And just looking by the people, you can tell that everyone represents a different culture and a different story. If you go this way towards the Kotomat, you'll see more. So where we are now is by the Kotemar, which is this small area over here. And during the summer, actually, this is actually central for students and young adults. Unfortunately, because it's winter, you can tell like there's not a lot of atmosphere. But during the summer, it's really packed full every single day of the week. The whole square would be packed full of tables. All these are different restaurants, different coffee shops where people can come during the night. There are various clubs, so over there you have Supermart, and if you look across the road, that side there's Pod, and next to it there's Club 7, which is really central to most young adults. So definitely somewhere you want to go, especially during the summer. Okay, so still in the city center, we have the city library over here, which you can tell is like a really big modern building. And you can go there, find your books. There are books in English, I've been told. And as you can see, the center is just a really vibrant place. There's just so much to do. You can spend the whole day here at Market Court. There's a library to visit. There's so many shops around there. Across over here, you can see there's the cinema, which you don't have to worry if you speak English because they do show their movies in English. Okay, so where we are now is actually by the parliament building in The Hague and this is actually where the Prime Minister and all his government officials work every day. It's actually the tourist central, a lot of tourists come here. Today, unfortunately, it doesn't look like a lot of people, maybe we'll just blame the weather for that, but on an off day, if you come when it's sunny and during the week, there'll be a lot of tourists around, a lot of international people. Take a look, the golden strike is a very old, typical Dutch building. Okay, so outside here, actually, outside the government building, there's actually a street restaurant, one of the street restaurants, and actually they've told me that the Prime Minister himself actually comes to eat here occasionally. I've actually just bought a herring over here, which is typical Dutch, and they've told me it's really good, so let's we'll try it out. That is really good. 
So here is actually a better view from the parliament buildings from outside. It's a huge lake and sometimes there's actually sprinklers or fountain that play inside the middle and the Prime Minister's office is actually that one right at the end there was a pointed head. And actually what's beautiful about this place is that you actually get a nice view of all the big buildings with the egg. Over there, that's Central Station by those buildings, and see the typical Dutch, but you can see most of them are quite modern. So actually now we're on the tram heading to Schaveningen Beach. Uh, first thing you have to do when you get to Holland is you have to buy this OV chip card. It will not go anywhere if you don't have it. Basically, the public transport card, you can use the trams, buses, the trains. Uh, the Hague is also known for, or the slogan of The Hague is the city of international peace and security. Right now we are standing in front of the Peace Palace, which is a UN institution and uh, it's an international court uh, of justice. So uh, 12 judges uh, from all over the world are ruling against uh, the states that violated the UN Charter or the Charter of the Human Rights. It's a pretty big area uh, with a lot of gardens and uh, International Peace Palace Library, which is basically known as the best uh, library for international uh, law in the world. It's a really vibrant place during the summer. The beach season starts uh, in the first week of March and it ends uh, the last uh, weekend of October. So it's the seven month season. And all of this that you see, it's fully packed with beach clubs and restaurants. So, it's from my side. It's a really nice place to be during the summer. Next stop, Station Holland Spoor.